go to the second problem that is centroid of this shaded area which is being shown in the figure. So here what we will do is that again we are going to fix the axis or if the axis is being given with respect to that axis we will try to calculate the centroid of the figure. In this figure you can see here now this is the y axis and this is the x axis. Always with respect to the reference axis we are going to calculate the centroid of the figure. In this figure already a reference axis is being given to us. If it is not given we can fix our reference axis. So now with respect to this axis we will try to calculate the centroid. So in this figure what we will do? We will try to take figure in this way. I will take this as one rectangle. So only they have said us to calculate the centroid of the shaded area. This has one rectangle and this has the semicircle. These are the two figures means whole area will be covered. Minus we are going to do the subtraction for this quarter circle. Why? Because this is not a shaded portion. So therefore we are going to do deduction for this area. Right? So first we will take one rectangle that is the first figure. Second one is one semicircle uh, quarter we have. Third one is this quarter we have. For that we are going to do the deduction. In that way we will try to calculate the center of the figure. Right? So first one is we will take one rectangle. We will take this whole rectangle we will take now. Rectangle. So how do you calculate area of the rectangle? B is 30 mm. D. As this is what you can say. You can see this is one quarter circle we have. This is the quarter circle. So from here till here they have given from this is as this is the quarter circle this radius or this radius is 30 mm. So therefore this radius will also be 30 mm. This radius will also be 30 mm. This is B is 30 mm. D is 30 mm. B by D that is 30 by 30 it is 900 mm. Second one is we will try to calculate area of this quarter. That is pi r square divided by 4. r is how much? 30 mm. Next is we will take this third quarter circle. So this has to be deducted therefore it is minus pi into this radius is how much? Here it is given 30 mm. So therefore this radius is 30 mm. Therefore pi r square divided by 4 that is 706. As this area is not shaded, so therefore for this deduction has to be done. So we have taken minus. So you do summation of these values, you will get summation of A that is equal to 900 mm square. Next is we will try to calculate the centroid x and y of the thing, simple figures. First one is the our rectangle. How do you calculate the centroid of this rectangle? B by 2 and D by 2. So this B is how much? 30. 30 divided by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So now you see here is our reference axis. This is y axis, this is x axis. So this is the origin. Our centroid is coming somewhere here. So as we are measuring x distance, as we are measuring this x distance, as we are measuring this x distance, so this is the origin. Left side of the origin we are measuring, so therefore it is minus. So minus of 15. Similarly, now this y distance has to be calculated. How do we calculate? d by 2. d is how much? 30. 30 divided by 2. Why it is positive? Why? Because above the, what you can say, this x axis above the origin we are calculating. Therefore, it is plus. That is 30 by 2. This is regarding the rectangle. Next one is semicircle. This quarter circle we have. So, how do you calculate? Now, quarter circle, centroid is going to come somewhere here. So, now we have to calculate this x bar of this quarter circle. How do you calculate? 4 r by 3 pi. That is 4 into r is 30 divided by 3 pi. Then next this y distance has to be calculated. From the base how do you calculate? 4 r by 3 pi. That is 12.732. Next one is we will take this quarter circle now. This quarter circle we are going to take. Centroid is going to lie somewhere here. So now here it becomes bit tricky. So always you should remember with reference to the axis we require the distance. So now we require this distance. We require this distance now. Correct? But what formula you remember? You remember you know that from the base always we used to calculate. Right? So if you are calculating x, this distance you know. That is 4r by 3 pi. 4r by 3 pi. But we require this remaining distance, not this distance. We require this remaining distance. So we will take this total distance that is 
30 mm minus 4r by 3 pi if we are going to do we are going to get the remaining distance that is 17.268 that is 30 30 is nothing but this distance we have taken so centroid will be somewhere here so this total distance is 30 right minus this distance we will do minus this 30 minus this if you do means this is the remaining distance so what we got the distance from the reference axis that is 30 minus of 4r by 3 pi so now why it is minus because this is the origin to the left side of the origin we are measuring the distance so therefore it is minus so remember whole bracket we have to do minus next one is this is the centroid along y axis you have to calculate the centroid now correct so now this is our x axis this is our x axis we require this distance we require this distance but always you know the formula you know is with respect to the base with respect to base we know the formula from here till here distance is 4r by 3 pi so therefore what we will do we will take this total distance total distance is how much 30 minus 4r by 3 pi minus of 4r by 3 pi you will get the remaining distance we will get the remaining distance so now this will be positive why positive this is the origin if you take this vertical distance it is above the origin therefore it is positive here that is 30 minus of 4r by 3 pi you will get answer as 17.268 next is you have to multiply ax ay that is area is 900 x is 15 you will get this answer next is area into y you will get this answer similarly you have to calculate all these values ax you have to calculate ay you have to do summation of ax you have to do summation of this you will get summation of ax you have to do summation of ay you will get this value next you have to substitute in the formula x bar and y bar that is summation of ax by a summation of ax is this by 900 you will get this answer next is summation of ay divided by 900 you will get this answer in this way we will try to calculate the centroid of this figure next is we will try to calculate the centroid of this triangle with respect to the apex in the question they have said with respect to the with reference to the apex we have to calculate the figure so now this is the apex point of the triangle so therefore with respect to this point now we have to calculate the centroid of this whole figure so carefully if you see this figure is symmetric now this figure is symmetric so if i am going to draw one line here if i am going to draw one line here so figure is symmetric about this axis figure is symmetric about this axis so what i will do i will take this as the x axis this as the y axis this as the x axis correct so with respect to this point you have to calculate as the figure is symmetric somewhere here our centroid is going to lie along this line itself along this line itself if it is going to lie directly we can calculate the x bar now with respect to y axis we will we'll, we used to calculate so therefore x bar will be equal to 0 only we will try to calculate the y bar so x bar will be equal to 0 only we will try to calculate the y bar so with respect to the apex point we will try to calculate first we will try to calculate now what we will do we will divide this figure into some simple figures we will take this whole triangle as one figure first triangle so this is not the hatched portion or shaded portion for this you have to do deduction for this you have to do deduction for this you have to do deduction so this is second figure so circle will do deduction this rectangle will do deduction and the semicircle we are going to do the deduction so first one is we will take the triangle that is we will try to calculate area of this triangle that is half base height half base is 160 height is 240 so if you calculate you will get the area of the triangle next is we'll, we have to do reduction for this circle now circle is 2 that is how to calculate area of the circle pi into r square r square if you see the diameter is given as 40 mm so radius will be 20 that is pi into r square why minus because it is not a shaded portion we have to do reduction for this therefore it is minus of pi into r square next is we will take this rectangle 60 by 40 60 by 40 area of this rectangle is 60 by 40 so this has to be subtracted therefore it is minus next is the semicircle will take 
pi r square so this radius you can see now this radius is 40 mm so therefore it is pi r square divided by 2 it is minus therefore it is minus 2514.285 so if you do sum up of this you will get total area that is summation of a next in this what happens is that i as i said that this figure is symmetric so directly we can calculate the centroid along x axis as the figure is symmetric about y axis directly we can calculate the x bar so as along this axis itself our centroid is going to lie so therefore x bar will be equal to 0 so therefore what we will do we will not calculate x only we will try to calculate y and we will multiply by ay so as to calculate the y bar if you calculate x ax and if you calculate then also you will get x bar value as 0 itself if you calculate you will get 0 itself only will try to calculate now y distance right so with respect to now this is the reference axis about this is the itself they have said us to calculate right so as you know centroid of the triangle from the base it is from the base it is 1/3 from the pointed end it is 2/3 2/3 of what 2/3 of height now from the base 2/3 of what height height is how much 240 2/3 of height is 160 now next is we have to do now we have to take the centroid of this circle now with respect to this apex point with respect to this apex point we have to calculate this distance so how to calculate now so as you see the diameter of the circle is 40 so centroid means this distance this is the line so this distance will be how much radius that is 20 mm plus this distance has to be added why because from the apex point they have said us to calculate this is 40 plus this is 40 by 2 that is uh, you will get 40 plus 20 divided by 2 diameter is 40 so therefore it is uh, 40 divided by 2 means this is 20 plus 40 correct you will get this answer as 50 next one is we have to take now this rectangle we have to take this rectangle so this distance we have to calculate this total distance has to be calculated right so this total distance is 40 we will take 40 divided by 2 40 divided by 2 right then next we will get up to this point then next remaining distance we'll add 120 so 120 you will get this answer next if you take this semicircle we'll take the semicircle centroid is going to lie somewhere here right so we know the formula from the base we know the formula from the base we know the formula that is 4r by 3 pi but our requirement is with respect to the apex point we have to calculate the centroid with respect to the apex point total distance is 240 that is 240 minus 4r by 3 pi we are going to do minus 4r by 3 pi means this remaining distance we are going to get remaining distance we are going to get so we have got the y values then next is you multiply a into y you will get a y a y you will get that is summation of a y so how do we calculate now y bar summation of ay divided by a summation of ay we have divided by summation of a if you do you will get answer as 162.137 mm so in this way we will calculate the centroid of this figure so here we are going to stop in the next video we will try to solve few more problems